Hey guys, what's going on? Haven't done a video for a while. Uh, been a little bit busy. This running your own business thing takes a lot of time. So uh, yeah, the YouTube videos have been taking a bit of a back seat. But today I'm off to Speyside. Just driving up there right now. And I'm going to go and check out the new Glenlivet Distillery, which is pretty exciting because they just did a big revamp uh, around about a month ago. So I'm going to go and visit my friend Lindsay Gray up there who runs the place and uh, we're gonna check it out today. So, I live just outside of Edinburgh. Uh, to do this drive, it's about three hours, and uh, really, really cool drive. I like to break it down into stages in my head, uh, and that way it just doesn't seem like it's taken that long. So first stage is this part, the boring part, the motorway. The second stage, you get onto the A9 single track. Most of the way, then you start to get into the highlands. It starts to look really nice. And then the third part is the fun part. Where you come onto the Malt Whiskey Trail, the road starts to wind alongside the River Spey. You get some stunning scenery. If you guys haven't done Edinburgh to Speyside before as a drive, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful drive as always up here. Uh, let's go and check it all out, see what's going on. We went through four different uh, Glenlivet Solar Cast strength, and then I uh, obviously had to buy a little bottle, not a Glenlivet though, but of their uh, distillery that they own just down the road from Copper Brock, which is Dal Munich. So I'm gonna head back to Copper Brock now, crack this open, see what it's like. So guys, made it back to Copperbrock after an amazing day at uh, Glenlivet. Really enjoyed going around their new visitor centre. Uh, if you wonder why I'm not looking at the camera right now, it's because I'm trying to open this bottle of uh, Dal Munich. So a little bit obsessed about this distillery, not gonna lie. It's literally two minutes drive down the road from Copperbrock, got the fire going. Got myself a wee dram. And I have to say, this is probably the most expensive four year old whiskey I have ever bought in my life. Um, so this was 85 pounds. It is 59% ABV. One of the reasons why I'm, uh, I'm a little bit obsessed with it because I constantly walk down there and I walk past it and just think it's a beautiful distillery. A lot of green credentials to this distillery as well uh, and it is a big one. It pumps out around about 10 million litres a year. You cannot go and visit it unfortunately which is a bit of a bummer. I really wish Perna would put in a visitor centre there because I think it's ideal for uh, this, this kind of visitor centre experience but what I love about this is oh, there's a nice citrus note. It's super clean. It's like fre fresh cut grass that's coming through on this. 
I'm really excited to see what this is like when it's uh, a little bit older. Like I say, four years old right now, very young, but it's drinking really well. I need to sort of fire out quickly. So guys, I'm gonna sign off, get some of this fire action going, get tucked into this Dalmunic, enjoy it. Until next time, slanch. <laughs>